This week on WDD's Hotspot, Ford has introduced its new communications and entertainment system, Sync 3. Number 3. Sync 3 is more conversational voice recognition technology. A more smartphone-like touchscreen and easy-to-read graphics will help millions of drivers connect with their lives and control their smartphone while on the road. Because we can never take a break from the grid. To check out the latest features of the Sync 3, visit the links below. DecaWave has introduced its family of single-chip CMOS wireless transceivers, Sensor, which uses ultra-wideband or UWB techniques and is based on the IEEE 802.15.4-211 standard. The Sensor chip provides accurate distance and location measurements of 10 centimeters at a very low power consumption. The signal is capable of going through the human body or solid walls, making the realization of complex wireless sensor networks and extremely accurate real-time location systems possible. Applications for the new Sensor chip from DecaWave include automotive, building control and smart lighting, healthcare and education, IoT and wearables, factory automation and logistics, agricultural, robotics, EPOS, mining, sports, retail, safety and security, and home appliance. That's a lot of good stuff. For more information, visit the links below. The holidays are fast approaching and you know what that means. An overabundance of food, booze, and yes, sleep. To help all of you sleeping sofa bears, their words, not mine, from missing your favorite TV shows, 15-year-old Ryan Oliver and 14-year-old Jonathan Kinsley have teamed up with Virgin Media to create the wearable technology Kipster, which automatically sets their TiVo boxes to record whatever they're watching if they fall asleep in front of the box. Because, I mean, playing outside nowadays for teenagers just, I mean, good for you for being smart. Good for you. Thumbs up. The 3D printed wristband uses a pulse oximeter to sense if the wearer is asleep or awake and then mimics the user's TiVo remote control to pause, record, or resume a show appropriately because no one wants to miss the Game of Thrones ever. Or Sons of Anarchy. Never. Like, ever. Wait! Do you hear that? You know what that sound means? Just kidding, this one's a nice shark. The US Navy recently completed tests on the Ghost Swimmer unmanned underwater vehicle. Ghost Swimmer is the latest in a series of science fiction turned reality projects developed by the Chief of Naval Operations Rapid Innovation Cell, or CRIC project, Silent Nemo. Like the little fish? The clownfish? Dory? Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Silent Nemo is an experiment that explores the possible uses for biomimetic, unmanned underwater vehicles in the fleet. Ghost Swimmer is designed to replicate the dynamics of biological fish to move more rapidly, more accurately, and in more challenging areas than other marine technology solutions, keeping divers and sailors safe. Well, that's all for this week. Let us know what you think about this week's episode by posting your comments below or sending them to me at megan.zimba at advantagemedia.com. Don't be afraid to share the content with your friends or coworkers. Spread the love, please. Don't be greedy. For WDD, I'm Megan Zimba. But you already knew that. And where are you gonna see me next time? That's right, right here in the hot spot.